Back in August, not much was expected from this Bishop Lures football team, but for the seniors, there was some unfinished business. And now for the 22nd time in the program's history, Lures is back in the semi-state game. After the 15-7 win over Bluffton this past Friday, holding the Tigers' vaunted rushing attack to just 2.4 yards per carry. We definitely came out hot that game, you know what I'm saying? But as, uh, the, as the game went on, you know what I'm saying, we started to slow down a little bit. But thankfully, you know, we can lean on that uh, amazing defense that we have. So, yeah, they ended up getting some stops. They getting some turnovers. And we came in, we, uh, the offense, we knew that if we wanted to get to semi-state, then we were going to have to execute. So we came together, we talked, and we got the job done. I thought the, the defensive effort was just outstanding once again. Uh, flying around the field, gang tackling. Um, they gave up, I believe, not, negative nine yards in the second half on the ground. Um, you know, without a, a short field, a, a turnover on our side of the ball and a short field, they might, might have had themselves another uh, goose egg on the board. So, um, you know, they continue to play at a high level. Uh, the offense, uh, you know, we did what we needed to do. Um, still room for improvement. And I know the kids are getting sick of that. Here we are week 14, but the good thing is, is uh, we're still playing. We'll start learning from mistakes. Um, and there's no better time to put your most complete game together uh, than this time of year. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity on Friday night to do that. And around the Bishop Lures program, the faithful have been extremely excited about the play of sophomore D. Ho, who led the team with 10 tackles and had an interception versus Bluffton. On the season, the hard-hitting safety leads the team with 88 tackles and two blocked punts. He's a force to be reckoned with. Uh, he doesn't back down from anybody. He's a very solid uh, fundamental tackler right now. Um, he's super athletic. Oh man, I've seen this since he was a freshman last year. Just the way he come down, he's flying around the field, just hitting stuff. He's just fearless, you know what I'm saying? Even when it comes to me and Mickey during practice, we know for a fact D. Hogue is going to give us his best shot. And uh, just seeing that out, I just, just seeing that at practice, I knew that translating over to the field was going to be something crazy. And yeah, it's definitely, it definitely has been. When I'm out there as a defender, I just try to make them like feel me. Like after the game, I just want them to feel me, like strike fear in them. Wow, sounds like 260 great Bernard Pollard. Opposing defenses have been fearing running back Gio Jimenez. Through the postseason, the senior is playing his best ball of the season, averaging 6.5 yards per carry with seven rushing touchdowns and one receiving. Oh man, it's uh, coming in the beginning of the season, it's not much that I expected, expected with it being a very young offensive line. You know what I'm saying? Me and the team in general, we took it. We're being very, very patient with them. You know what I'm saying? We knew that it was going to be a working process. Coming to the postseason, I just feel like they finally got that click inside of them and um, it allowed me, it opened up a lot of opportunities for uh, me and Mickey than we had uh, during the regular season. Uh, between Mickey and Gio, you know, whoever finds that end zone, uh, you can about guarantee the other one's going to be the first one to, to meet him in the end zone and congratulate him. So it's fun, been fun to watch. It really has. And that brings us back full circle. Both Jimenez and Mickey Daring are senior captains. Both were on the team for the heartbreaking 36-35 state championship loss to Western Boone. The two running backs have accounted for 18 touchdowns on the season and know what it takes to lead this young Lures team back to Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh man, that combination is crazy. I mean, you want power, you want speed. I mean, we can do it all back there. So yeah, it's, it's definitely exciting being back there with him all season. You know what I'm saying? Even since we were a freshman, you know what I'm saying? Being able to have the opportunity to come to go to Lucas Oil together and uh, complete the mission. And I feel like that's the goal. And I think that me and Mickey, I don't, I don't think nobody's stopping it, to be honest. It's nice having Gio behind me, leading the block up there. I know he's going to make a good read off me, so you can always rely on that when uh, things aren't going right in the passing game. The Knights will be looking for their 17th semi-state title this Friday when they host Lafayette Central Catholic, also known as the Knights, led by quarterback Bobby Metzger, who's thrown for 2,758 yards with 33 touchdowns on the season. Friday we gotta come out with a lot of energy. We gotta be really focused. We can't we gotta handle adversity greatly and we gotta really stop their passing game. They like to throw it around, they like to uh, get the ball sideline to sideline, they throw the ball vertically, they really test a defense out on every uh, level of the, uh, the football field. Um, you know, so we gotta play discipline, we gotta communicate. We're definitely gonna have to come together as a team and we're gonna have to put in our 
our full effort. We've been having a crazy, a, a extremely good week of practice, but we know for a fact that if we want to get to state, then we're going to have to execute on all of our plays. We're going to have to be the more disciplined team, and we know for a fact that the offense is going to have to step up as well. We also can't underestimate our opponent. We know any team that's in semi-state, you know what I'm saying, they work to get there and they're supposed to be there. So we know that we're going to get this team best shot. You know what I'm saying, seniors on both sides of the ball, and it's really just going to come down to we want some more. We're locking in in practice. We're putting everything together. We're staying focused and uh, kicking out all the distractions. So I think we'll do it. For Summit City Sports, I'm Jeff Mahoney. Masters Heating and Cooling presents today's Football Team of the Week. Make Masters your only call for all your heating and cooling needs because Masters gets there faster. Call 866-824-HEAT or log on to mastersheatcool.com when you need them.